is my artificial pancreas. It's in a custom 3D printed case, which was designed by Robert Silvers. This is what it looks like inside. There's a lithium polymer battery, which is powering the device. And there's also room in the case for a spare AAA battery, which is pretty handy. Um, so how the device works is it's constantly getting information about what your blood sugar is because your blood sugars are on the internet. And your blood sugars are on the internet because they're being read by your Dexcom. You can use a G5 or you can use a G4, but in a nutshell, this thing is getting your blood glucose information, running it through an algorithm, and then making a prediction about what your blood sugar is going to be. Then it transmits a signal to your pump through this explorer block, which transmits at just the right frequency so your pump can understand, and it sets a temporary basal on your pump if your blood sugar is going too high or if your blood sugar is going too low. And you can see on my phone I have the Night Scout app, and that is just a visualization tool so I can see what my blood sugars are and what my temporary basals are being set at. So the blue line at the top is the temporary basals that are being set. So it's kind of hard to see, but if my blood sugar is going down, you can see the blue line kind of flat lines. And if they're going up, it goes, um, it increases the basal delivery and tries to bring me back down to a normal range. So the take home message here is that this thing is automatically setting temporary basals on my pump. I don't have to do any work. It reads my blood sugars and it automatically adjusts my insulin levels. And that's the system that I wanted to just share and it's called Open APS. It stands for Open Artificial Pancreas System.